Today we're gonna be walking around a 1955 Cadillac convertible. It's got the bleed to be 331 under the hood. This has been a good running and driving car so far. Check out the test drive video. I uh, always have two videos for every car on the lot and I'll link them together at the last 30 seconds of every video. That way you can see vice versa. Check us out at maplemotors.com. I have close to 100 detailed pictures, wheels, tires, parts, and accessories. And we sell these classics pretty much daily. So we can offer uh, financing on the website, shipping. And you can see all of our inventory every Monday that's been updated. If you're new to the channel on here, hit subscribe. We're going to get started. Start picking out the flaws. All right, so I'm going to get close and personal with it. I like the finish that they've done on the bumper here. It is different. It looks good. Of course, that's opinions. It's got a lot of metallic in the paint job. A little scratch sitting on top of the paint there that should buff out. We're gonna go down the lower portion of the car first, looking for any flaws. This has got update, upgraded disc brakes. Nice set of boss, uh, I believe those are 338 wheels. Light scratch on top there, that will come out. Running down this lower panel, looking for any bubbles or issues. There's a chip at the corner of the door there. This car does have air ride and it works well. It's a little chip by the tail light there and you can see the plastic's a little cracked up on the tail light itself. Coming down the mid section, looks pretty good. Trim's got some little light dings in it. Chrome trim looks great around the front windshield. They even did the interior with the same paint. I'm loving it. The top's in great shape. You can see pictures of it at maplemotors.com. It does come up slow. That's another reason that I'm not putting this top up right now because uh, I would want to have some help just in case. I always like to keep pressure on them when they're coming up slow like that. Power windows, they all work great. We'll be trying that out in the video as well. Carpet's been replaced. And we'll go back to the interior here in a moment. Coming around to the trunk, you can see where they've done the bumper the same way as the front. I love these trunk kits. It looks so clean. This cuts your amp on and off. I've never seen somebody install a switch in the amp, but that'll work. Coming down with the trunk. A little stiff there. And she's shut. Look at those hits. <laughs> little chip down here in the corner where the trunk comes down trying to catch everything I'm gonna go down the lower section on this one come back to top and make sure that door shut all the way it looks like it's hanging a little bit on the bottom these are huge heavy doors so the hinges could be a little bit weak I think it just needs to be tightened up uh, hinge on the inside there may be loose Starting from the back here. Oh, we've got a little bit of rust trying to come through by the tail light. It's the only little spot I've seen so far on the car that's like that. Just a little chip on top. Look at the metallic in that. Coming down the lower portion. Like I said, on that door, I could push in on it and it starts getting flat. There's a crack here at the bottom of this door. 
and in the corner a couple chips as well it's another chip right here keep running up and a chip in the corner there and right up top I'll be back down the midsection I can't turn around because my shadow's all in the way <laughs> Midsection looks pretty good. Some light little scuffs right here, and this is on top of the paint. Like I said, you get a buffer on that, all those will come out. Almost looks like somebody was leaning over the trunk here and scratched it up with their belt or something. See that stuff all the time. Okay, we've made it around this car. We're gonna go ahead and jump on the interior, get her started. I'll give you some uh, undercarriage shots and we'll get back to the test drive. So the remote on this does pop the doors. Of course, I got it in there, but just reach in with the top down. <laughs> We're gonna walk up to this door panel here and start checking it out. You can see there is some pitting right here on the old switches door panel has been redone the weather stripping is new jumping on inside here starts up nice and easy so you do have a switch for your compressor. This does have air ride. Uh, you don't have to leave it on now because we're up. We're up in good, in good range. Of course that airs it up, lets it out. I like keeping it about right there for the front and back. Motor's nice and sound, dash is nice and clean. Showing 62,000 miles on the dash as well. The heat does work, it is on right now. The radio is working. Windshield wipers, I couldn't get them to work. It's not coming up, but go ahead. You think the horn works? I'll give you a second. Place your bets. It's a little game we like to play on the channel. We'll look around the interior some more. Kind of check everything out. All right, let's try this horn. It does work. Glass fuel filter. Coming down with the hood, it comes down nice and easy. This thing is huge, by the way. Do have a little chip on the front here. There's a little chip right here on top of the hood too.
go ahead and hit the turn signals, pull the headlights on. We are blinking in the back. Running lights are on. Headlights are on and turn signal is working up here in the front. We'll try the other side real quick and then we're gonna get you some undercarriage shots. It is working. And it's working. We're gonna start in the back since we're already back here. Let's look up under this car. I do have those detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Be sure to go check that out. This is spider eggs. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button. I post uh, classic cars pretty much daily. And you wanna see the test drive of this? It'll pop up here in a moment, the last 30 seconds of the video. You can get finance, shipping information, wheels, tires, parts, and accessories at maplemotors.com. I update that website with new cars every Monday. Also, we have a music channel. All the music at the beginning of these videos is us playing. We write it all. Check it out. Southgate Production. Let's go over there, hit subscribe. And we'll have videos coming to you from that channel as well. I want to thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all have a good one. See you later, guys.